Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Sam, aka Reselling Polly. Uh, welcome if you're new here, uh, thanks for joining and if you're a regular then welcome back. Um, I've not done a charity shop haul for a while so I've been out today and got a really really good haul so I thought I would come along and show you what I bought. So I'll hang on a few minutes, obviously, let people come into the chat and uh, we will, I'll show you what I've got. So um, just going to um, pop the chat out and then I can see who's in. Bear with me a second. Yeah, I've had a really good day today. It's, um, it's been... Um, it's been a while since I've had a rookie error there and um, a good haul. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, excited to bring you this haul. Come on. Not keep you a minute. There we are. Just pop the chat out. Oh, there we go. Um, so in the chat, we've got Ali, Peter, Marie, uh, Karin, and that's it <laughs> so far. Uh, let me just pop this chat out. And then I'll go back to StreamYard. And I should be able to see you all now. There we go. Hi, Jason. You're right. Um, yeah, um, it's been a while since I've actually been charity shopping. Sorry about the reflection on my glasses. I'll try and sit back a bit. Um, since I've been charity shopping and had a really good day shopping, but today has been a really good day. It's getting harder and harder. I don't know whether other resellers are finding. Uh, there's more and more resellers out there, and you know. Every time I go in a shop, you can spot loads of different resellers. Um, and it is getting harder and harder. So, but today I've had a really good day. So I will show you what I've got. I'll just answer that question from Ali. Have you still got your storage place? I have at the moment, Ali, but um, I'm tied into a contract for 12 months. So uh, I will be keeping it on for 12 months. But after that, yeah. It will be going and I will be moving everything back home. Um, hi, Becca Feduke. Fed, fed fed <laughs> hi, Becca. Hi, Christine. Hi, Claire. Um, right, yeah, I'll get on. Uh, what I've done is I've, I've, I've roughly calculated um, what I've spent and I've, I've put reserved prices. I've just rounded it up to what I think I can get for each item. They are on the low side, so I will probably list them higher. Uh, but this is just to give you an idea, really, of what you can expect to get back for these items. Um, so altogether, I've spent £260. Yes, £260, as it says in the title down below. Um, and I'm hoping to get back, I'll have to do a bit quick calculation at the end, but I'm hoping to get back quite a lot more. So, Ali, I've been working on my SKU system today. Very good. And then Karin, I'm sure Karin's just said the same, yeah. Um, I dread to think about doing mine because I've just got that many items, but I'm going to do mine. Um, I'm going to do mine when I move everything from the unit back home. Jason, anything from the other day? Got a few bits, Jason, in the last couple of shops we went into. But um, apart from that, there's only two charity shops that we went into that we actually got anything decent. So Ali's got over 2,000 listings on eBay. Oh, my God. You've got more than me, girl. More than me. Uh, right, I'll start off with shoes. Oh, bear with me because everything's on the floor. Um, I picked these up. These were these are brand new, uh, never been worn. These are Bowden. I did pay ten pound for them uh, because this place, places where I've been to today, is sort of like you do pay up for stuff. So, 
got ten pound. I've estimated thirty back for them, but I'll probably aim higher. But just for estimation purposes, uh, for adding to what I'm going to give you the valuation at the end, I put thirty for those. But I will probably be listing them more around the forty, forty mark. Hi Daisy B. I found a corduroy jacket that has dropped off and me listed. Oh right, okay, that's not bad if you've only found one item so far, Karen. Hello there, Lex. I've just been watching your um, your live from earlier, Lex. I've not finished watching it yet, but uh, I wanted to get this done first. I thought you was out tonight. Excuse the squeaky chair as well. I'm at my partner's house and the lighting is a bit terrible, so, but. Ali, I think I'm addicted to listing. You can come and do mine if you want. I hate listing. Uh, next, we have a pair of Sketches Shape Ups. Um, sh these Shape Up shoes, the older version, the older trainers don't tend to do too well, but the shoes tend to do better. Again, I paid £10 for these, but they're in really, really good condition. Um, you know, they've not got a lot of wear on them at all. Again, I put down about 25 for those, but I'll probably aim higher. Mandy, you spent a fortune. I have, Mandy. I've spent... Hey, it's good to be able to spend a fortune, though. Oh, God, that light's doing my head in. Um, it's good to be able to spend a fortune because I've just been saying it's getting harder and harder, man. I don't know how you're finding it, but I'm finding it harder and harder to find decent stock. And up north here where we are, we've always been fortunate, really. So uh, Next, we have a pair of classics. These are a pair of unstructured little booties, suede booties. These were £8. And again, they should go for about 20 to 25. I'll probably put them at 30, but for the purposes of uh, the figures at the end, I've estimated them at 20 for you. So, <laughs> I just love money too much. Yeah, don't we all? I'm saying that, I'm not having sales today. I don't know how everybody else's sales are, but mine are absolutely rubbish. I've had one sale all day. So, but I think, um, I think people have got now the credit card bills from Christmas are dropping on the doormats, aren't they? And people are going, oh my God, how much have I spent? So I think people are going to pull back for a little bit for maybe a week or two. <laughs> Mandy, no problem finding it, just can't friggin' sell it. Oh, well, if you can't sell it, Mandy, there's no hope for the rest of us then. Um, these, again, are paid up for, but they're in really good condition. They're a low-heel LK Bennett shoe. I paid £10 for them, but they're a good size. They're a size 8. Uh, I might actually nab these myself. I'm going on a cruise in a few months, and I don't do heels, but these are quite low. So I might nab them for the cruise and then sell them. So, but LK Bennett. Again, I've estimated these at about 30, but I'll probably get a bit more for them. I don't know, to be honest with you, with LK Bennett. They used to do really well, but they might not do as well. So, they were all the shoes that I picked up. And, yeah, like I said, I paid up for them, so, but it's just... Moving on to skirts now. I picked up... I love anything like this little wool skirts this is a little wrap over skirt where's the thing there it's got this where you pull it through and that so it's not sitting quite well there but this is a jaeger and i paid four pounds and it is wool so four pounds i've estimated 15 pounds for all my skirts i'll probably get more than that it's got a little pluck on it there but it's nothing too major um, I've estimated £15 for each skirt, ju just for ballpark figures, like I said again. Karen, you've never found LK Bennett shoes. Mm. I I've left LK Bennett dresses behind today, believe it or not. There was that much stuff to choose from. Um, yeah. Lex, I've done okay with quality at cheap prices today, but could do... 
could still only find 10 things, right? I think I found, let me just kind of calculate. Um, there's 35 items here that I'm going to show you that I selected today, which I think is quite good, really. So this brand I've never sold before, but I have, I've got a thing in the back of my head that it's a good brand. It was only £4, so I didn't even research it. It's Biba, Biba, and it's a faux leather skirt. Now, I tend to do really well with, with, um, with these anyway, so I picked this up. This is a burgundy A-line. And uh, again, like £15, but like I say, I'll probably be putting it on for more. You struggle selling dresses, Ali. I don't struggle selling dresses. They're one of my best things that I sell. So I've got quite a few here today. So that was that skirt. That was, I was told you that was 3 95 This one, I did pay a little bit more for £7.50. Uh, but it's a Hobbs elasticated waist. And it's grey. I don't know if it's coming across the grey A-line wool skirt. And uh, midi length, so... I think it's asymmetrical as well, so it's higher on one side. Yep. So again, 15, probably put it on for more like 20 to 25. And then this brand, I underline about picking this up, but I like the print on it. I like the detail on it, and that is why I picked it up. I normally wouldn't pick this brand up. For this price, I paid six fifty for it. It's Karen Millen. I can't sell Karen Millen, <laughs> as she says, showing you a Karen Millen skirt. But I thought, oh, I keep trying with it because it is a nice. It, I like Karen Millen stuff, and it, it's very, very, very slow. So if you want fast movers, don't buy Karen Millen. They're very, very slow. But yeah, um, I just like this skirt, so I paid six fifty for it. So. Mum of five sons. Oh, hi. Hi, Mum of five sons. And anybody else who's come in that I've missed, hello. Last skirt I picked up. Again, I don't normally pick Marks and Spencer skirts up, but I like the design of this one, and it was brand new with tags, and it's a size 18, so it's got a lot going for it. Uh, it retailed at 35, and I paid for... So there's got to be, I'm going to put it, I'd say £15, but I'll probably put it up for more like 20 because it's new with tags. So that's that one. Uh, the only men's item I picked up because I'm, I'm cutting down on men's clothing, I don't really think I'm going to be selling men's clothing in, anymore. But this was uh, one that I just spied out the corner of my eye. It's Rowan. Uh, men's Rowan always does well. It was £6. Well, it used to do well. I don't know whether it still does or not. And it's just a like a fleece top. Um, and what have I estimated for that one? I don't even think I put that one. Oh, 20 So might be aiming a bit high on that, actually, but I put 20 Would go every day of the week if I I could have obsessed. What's that sauce in? Is that Ali? Oh, the car boots. Yeah, I like the car boots. I do like. Right, moving on to uh, what are we on now? We are on um, jumpers and cardigans. Got quite a few. Um, I've had a lot of problem with jumpers and cardigans at the moment. I'm going to have to go through all of my stock. I've got a rail in the unit. Um, I've had three returns in the last couple of weeks um, for cardigans and stuff with holes in. So I'm going to pull all my stock and check it because I don't know whether there's something going on, whether there's moths in the in the unit or what. But um, I hope not because I've got absolutely loads of good stuff there. So... I have got a lot packed up, but these there's quite a few that are not. Karen Millen was bought out by Boohoo since then prices have tanked. Yeah, it's just um I just like the style. Sometimes it's not about the brand, it's about the style as well. So uh, hopefully the style will sell it. Then again, it might not. 
think the most I spent on any item is probably ten pound. Um, I don't know what I've spent on. I think I've spent seventy pound on one item. Uh, that was Lego though. So yeah. So next is White Company, and it's a very very long. I may actually keep this for myself again for the cruise, just for having loads of light layers to chuck on because we're sailing from Southampton, but um, so it's going to be cold, and but then you, it's going to come into warmer climes. So uh, paid six ninety five for this one, and I've estimated all the jumpers that I'm going to show you in the cardigans that I'm going to get twenty pound back for them. Um, obviously, I'd probably put this up for more. Um, I'm not sure of the material content. Let me have a look. I don't think you get as much for white stuff as you used to. It's one hundred percent linen, but like I said, I'd probably keep hold of this for me. And if I don't like it, I'll sell it when I get back off my holidays. <laughs> like, if you're going on a cruise, I haven't mentioned it, I know. I, leave me alone, Lex. I've never, ever been on one. So I'm going to absolutely just tell everybody about me going on a cruise. Did you know I was going on a cruise? Next, we have a Ted Baker jumper, ladies at V-neck. Um, Ted Baker is, um, again, it's a slow seller for me. Um, it does, you can get good money for it, but it, it, it is slow. Uh, paid six ninety nine, I think, for this. So I thought it was all right for six ninety nine. Like I said, I've estimated 20 for them all, so... Hi Georgina, welcome. This again I picked up for myself, but I think I'm going to sell it because it's just, it's, when they say it's boxy, Jesus Christ, I could get three of me in that, look at the size of it. It's mahosis. So this is Maasai, uh, 5 95 paid for that. Um, boxy, spotty. That's that's why I picked this one up because it's spotty. Spots always do well. And that is oh, I don't even know what that is. Hang on. Linen and viscous. So but I do like my size stuff myself, so well, I don't know. I think that's gonna be a bit too wide for me, to be honest. This I absolutely love. I love this. This is a Nicola Ferry. Farfari, and this is a navy blue and pink zigzaggy jumper. It's got a zip on the back, zip detail. I love this. This this was seven pound, and I don't even know what size it is. Probably won't even fit me anyway if I liked it. Oh, extra small, so no, it won't fit me. I won't get one one booby in that one. So it looks big for an extra small though, to be fair. Um, yeah, so that was that one. Bit of cashmere next, M&S cashmere. I like this one. There was a few pieces of cashmere I saw today, but uh, most of them look like they'd shrunk. This one is a size small. Oh, not usually small in marks, is they usually sized, aren't they? Size 14, mm, yeah, possibly. And it was five pound. So again, yeah, I've estimated twenty back. We'll probably get a bit more on that with it being cashmere and being Marxes. You reckon I could get in that? <laughs> I'll do a video on me trying to get it in. I don't, I don't think I would, to be honest, Lex. But you never know. This is a brand I've never picked up before, and to be honest, I didn't know they did clothing. Uh, this is. Osprey, is that how you could say it? And these are renowned for making handbags. So this is um, this is one that I researched. I paid three seventy five for it, and it is one hundred percent wool. Uh, it's got this pattern on it for a jumper. For uh, what size is it? It's a size extra large as well, so should be good. Nice, like wine coloured. So yeah, again. Comps look good on it, so 
Oh, where are we jumper wise? I think this is the last jumper. No, it's not. I'm telling a lie. I've got another couple. Hi, DBG. Hi, Liam. This, I love this. Um, if I was a bit younger, I'd probably wear this. This is like, it looks metal. It's not metal, but it is a metal colour. And it's um, a V-back jumper. Very see-through. You'd have to wear a cameo under it. M mind you, if you was younger, you'd probably... If I was younger, I'd probably just wear a bra under it. But um, it's got, like, a little scalloped back. And it is by All Saints. And it was only £3, as you can see. Hiya, Becca. <laughs> just got online. Can you start again? No, can't. You'll have to go and bloody watch your back. And serve yourself right for being late. It's rude that. Late to the party. Yeah, so, um, yeah, love that. Really nice. And I think it's quite a good size as well for All Saints, because we all know All Saints is teeny, teeny, teeny sizes. I think it is a size, come on. Oh, size 10. So it is only a small size, but, yeah, I think it's a decent size 10. Yeah, love that. That's nice. Just a basic jumper now. This is a Woolovers uh, merino wool jumper. Um, it's it is black. Um, it's a very thin knit, and it was a fiver. But Woolovers sells doesn't sell for loads, but it sells quickly. Woolovers is a, is one brand that if you can get, not everything in Woolovers sells quickly or at all. But some items like cashmere, uh, pure merino wool, I always find, um, sell really, really fast for me. So, Georgina, you like that? Is that the All Saints? Yeah, really like that. Down's at football, so it's good to catch your life, Sam. Me and, me and Monty are having a cuddle on the sofa. Oh, I'm just having a lemon and honey. I've got, I've got, I did, I got, I had a cold the last couple of weeks and I've had, my partner got me some honey and some lemon and since then I've been drinking it, I love it. Yeah, honey and lemon. Mm. The only thing is you get pips out the lemon. Another Woolovers. Now I bought this because, again, it's, uh, I think it is, it's cotton wool and cashmere, this. Only, a, there's only a bit of wool and cashmere in it. But I, I, I love the um, the edge. You, know, you can see that it's like a, a accordion pleated edge at the bottom, and I thought that was quite nice. And grey, grey will go with anything. Again, I think that was five pound. So yeah, that was nice. I think that'll I'll, um, sell quite quick. Honey, lemon, and whiskey. Not got any whiskey legs. I've got Southern Comfort. Can I stick that in? Right, so that is all the jumpers. Um, the only jacket I got, because I'm on a jacket ban, but I had to buy this. I couldn't leave this behind because I've only ever found it about two or three times and there wasn't, ain't, ain't no way I was leaving this behind. This is Oscar and it's, uh, it's not really um, a jacket as such, it's linen. So... Um, but it's a really good size, nice lightweight for summer, and it's like a dark grey colour. And this one was seven fifty. But again, I've estimated that at I think I've estimated that at thirty, but I'll probably list it for more than thirty because Oscar does command really high money. I can get good money for it and very quickly Oscar but it's very hard to find in the charity shops I don't find it very often at all Ali loves finding all saints I don't find it sells that fast for me it does sell eventually but I mean I had a dress on and I think I had listed for nearly a year before it sold and it was a lovely dress but that's just my opinion isn't it what I like and what somebody else likes is totally different Right, moving on to tops. Um, I am quite selective with my tops. Um, a couple of these I've purchased with the intention of keeping for myself. So, 
so some might be on the expensive side this one however was four pound and this is poetry and it's like a little wrap i did I did, I did think about not getting this because it's a wrap over top, but I thought for £4, it's grey. I've estimated £15 for each of the tops, so I thought £4 was good. So, yeah, I got that one. And I got this one because it is a big size, plus size clothing I always buy. And Anne Harvey is one that I will pick up at uh, 3 I wouldn't pick it up if it was any dealer than that. But this is just a nice big uh, blouse, black and grey. Um, yeah, so happy with that one. Next, I didn't, I didn't know whether to pick this up or not, but it felt really nice quality. It's a Tommy Hill figure. I think it's a newer Tommy Hill figure. I, I can't be 100% sure, but it doesn't feel very old, this. Um, so I don't know if you can see the label, but I'm in the right place. It's just navy blue, very thin, and it's so, so soft, this. It's beautifully soft, um, and it's like a half button down. So I think if it was my size, I'd probably keep it, but oh, somebody's cut the label out, so I can't even tell you what material it is, so... I need to get Tate's pizza out of the oven. Can you just hang on a minute, please? What is this at all, Becca? £3.90, I don't ever say paid for that. So, yeah, it, it may be a fail, that one, but I just like the feel of it. It was really nice, so. This is for me, but I'll show it you anyway. Um, this is white stuff. This is from the holidays. Beautiful little linen linen top just for in the daytime with um you know a pair of shorts or something like that nice white linen top i did pay i think i paid a five no 375 i paid so that's good white stuff you know it's a bit hit and miss isn't it now white stuff but i like that for me so and i also got this one for me but it it might be a bit out my comfort zone because it's a bit glitzy um, but I'll sell it if not. This is um, Hush. And I paid £4.50 for it. So good price. But get a load of this. Anybody like sequins? Woohoo! Sparkle there. So I thought I might wear that one night on the cruise with a nice skirt or a pair of trousers or something. I don't know. I'll have to try it and see what it looks like. I might look like a beach rail in it though, so <laughs> we'll have to see. Yeah. So that was 450 anyway, so. And then another one that I purchased for me, but I'll show you anyway. This was uh, an, another Maasai. And it's like um, a boat neck um, top with uh, Long sleeves or three-quarter sleeves. I don't like really thick, long sleeves. I, I always have my sleeves rolled up. And these are, they are long, but you can, I can do like this and just roll them up. So don't mind. But that one, that one was actually dearer than the Hush. That was £5.50 from the same shop. But yeah, in really, really good condition as well. Not like tatty or anything, so. <laughs> I have a rail on the wall to store my coats and put plastic dry cleaning covers over them. I'd be all right, Karen. I've got about over 100. I need to get rid of them all. Yeah, I've got a six foot rail. I did have two six foot rails. I'm now down to one. So I have, um, I have got rid of a lot. Next, we have a little, this is again Karen Millen, but I quite like this. It's a, a sheer see-through top um, with this um, metal design, little 
embellishments on the front. Um, four pound paid for that one as well. So that one will be going up for about fifteen. Oh, do you like hush, Becca? I think I've got a couple of pieces of a hush in here. I think I might have a dress as well. I don't know. I can't even remember what I bought, to be honest. Do you want to see it, Becca? That's it. That's the hush. The hush bling. Uh, this one is Bowden. Uh, very selective about Bowden, but this um, was a large. Oh, what's it? Yeah, size large. And it's polka dots, love polka dots, and it's very lightweight. Uh, I did pay up for this, I paid £6 for it, but I just really, really liked it. Really liked it. And I think there's still money in it at £6. <laughs> oh my God, this is going to fly. Yeah, whatever. Right, that's all the tops, and now we're on to the last leg. Are y'all bored yet? Um, um, we're on to dresses, and this is a hush dress. I forgot I had a hush dress. I wasn't overly sure on this when I got it. It is only a size six, um, but it's this one, and it's like green and black. It's like sheer. That's sheer see-through, and then... But I thought, mm, summer's coming up and it's got like a tie waist. And it what? I think it was six fifty. So it wasn't it wasn't really cheap, but it wasn't really expensive. So yeah, I wasn't sure. My leg isn't even a size six, I know. Me and all. That's why that's why I thought about not getting it, but I just got it anyway, so. Right, next is a little Hobbs dress. Absolutely love this. Absolutely love it. Wish it was my size. This is um, wool, size 10. So again, wouldn't fit me. Not a chance. It's got this little uh, inverted pleat at the front. And um, has it got pocketses? It's got pocketses as well, girls. Pocketses, we all like a pocket. And that one was five ninety nine, so six quid. I've estimated dresses at twenty. So, but obviously that I'll probably go on for more, well more than twenty. That just general run of the mill. This is Jaeger or Jaeger, however you want to sell it. Eight pound. Navy, striped, 100% wool dress. Not much else can say about that, but yeah. Um, sea salt, a bit of sea salt. I, I paid a fiver for this. I've got a bit more sea salt, but I paid a lot more than it up for it, but they are quite nice design so that's why I bought it this one is a 14s I would think I don't know whether this is a top a tunic top or a dress I can't make my mind up so but it's got this um contrasting detail on the cuff so you can fold it over so it's lighter on the inside which is quite nice um yeah that's that one This is a Bowden. This was £4.50. Again, I'm quite selective in what I'm picking up with um, Bowden. But this uh, it was a 12, size 12, so it's an okay size, but the print's really nice. Blue is anything blue uh, with patterns and stuff like that, I'll tend to pick up because they do tend to sell quite well. So, yeah, happy with that for four fifty. Yeah, Lex, you've got the same size feet as me. Uh, 
Next is Peruvian Connection. I absolutely love this brand. This is Peruvian Connection, what I've got on, and it is the most softest cotton ever. It's um, the Pimmer. Is it Pimmer Cotton? Oh, my God, it is so soft next to your skin. I haven't even got a clue what size this is. It's an extra large, so but the style won't really suit me, so I'm a bit gutted. It is brown, but that shouldn't really matter with this. Um, it should sell for good money and quite quickly. Um, yeah, so that was six ninety five. This I paid up for. This is sea salt, but I just love the pattern on it. I paid thirteen pounds for this dress. Thirteen pound, I know. That's a lot. It's a size 16s, so it's got that going for it. It's a very fine corduroy, blue and green. And, and although I won't make loads on it, I just I just had to have this for my store, even though, you know, I, I paid up for it. I paid way too much for it, and I know I did. Um, but I just love it. So, yeah. That's going in my store. Next, we have a bit of white company again. This is dark grey. It's probably coming up black on there. And it is just, it's just a basic grey dress, basically. Long three-quarter sleeves. Um, big pockets at the front. So size um extra large so that's really really good and i paid 10.99 for that one which again i did pay up a little bit for them so but hey ho another sea salt as well this was uh 10 pound but it's a size 20 this is only a jersey dress but i bought it purely on the size size 20 Again, a jersey floral print dress. Three quarter sleeves again. Yeah, so that was good. A um, couple of pieces uh, that I found today was I found two pieces of Max Mara. This is another brand that I very rarely find. This was £8. This is probably an older. You can't really see the pattern on that. It is just basically a, a classic black dress. Um, it's not a very desirable style, I would say. But for £8, I thought I would give it a go. And something in my shop. But I did get another piece of Max Mara, which is this. And I absolutely love it. Uh, but again, I paid up. Well... I paid up for it, but I didn't, if you know what I mean, for Max Mara. I paid £12 for it, but it's a 100% wool roll neck jumper with long sleeves. And this, I don't know whether this is a newer tag or not. But yeah, £12 paid for that. It's just lovely. Absolutely love it. Love the colour of it. And then the last piece is a piece I've never, ever, ever found, ever. I've always looked for it and never, ever found it. And, um, yeah, so I was quite pleased. I was having it no matter how much it was, I was having it. So just to say that I've had the brand. Um, it is Diane Von Furstenberg, I think that is how you pronounce it. Uh, and it is this little black bodycon dress. Long sleeved with a V back detail, you can't really see it on there, you can't see the detail. But very, very basic dress, it's not got anything fancy about it at all. Um, I'm not, I didn't even research it, I don't even know whether her stuff still sells for good money or not. So, um, but yeah, I was happy with that. So, that is my haul, that is everything that I picked up today. So, yeah, um, I'm 
I'm quite happy with everything that I picked up. I'm just having a look in the chat now to see whether... Becca's had a few D DVF pieces. I always sell for good money. Yeah, well, I've not, like I say, I've not done any research on it. And I, I, I did know that um, last year it was it was a good item to pick up, but I never ever found it, but I found it today. So it was like, I'm having it. <laughs> you're coming home with me. Don't care how much you are, you're coming home with me. Anyway, I've done a rough calculation of, um, you know, everything that I'm going to sell here. I've underestimated the prices that I'm going to ask for them, but I've just done it for a rough estimate so you can get an idea. So I spent £260 altogether on all of my stock today, and hopefully I am going to get back a minimum of £780, and that is minimum prices. So most of, that, most of everything that you've seen will be listed for more than what I've told you I will list it for. But it's just so you can get a definite figure that, of what you can actually achieve from spending that bit more money, I suppose. So, yeah, 260 into 780 uh, for a day. Well, it's not a day's work, is it? Because I've still got to do all the listing and everything for it. So, obviously, that's without taking off your fees and stuff like that. So, they've got to come off as well. Uh, but, yeah. I, I think I did an all right. I had an all right all today. I'm quite pleased with everything that I picked up and, uh, yeah, enjoyed myself. So, anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. And if you did enjoy it, I, I'd be grateful if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed and would like to subscribe, you just need to click that subscribe button down in the bottom corner and also the little bell. And it'll let you know when I'm uploading any more videos. So, Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.